the buyer, I want to submit my offer low so I can negotiate and get a good deal. Is that true? Let's find out. Welcome to Me versus the Truth. Sometimes we see the buyer, they want to negotiate the price. And the buyer think, you know, I'm qualified. If I, I should start at a low price to start the negotiation. What happened then? Not a good idea. If that's the home that you want, you get one shot to impress that seller. And that's submitting your offer at or above. That's the market that we're in today. So if that's the property that you want, we suggest at or above market value or listing price. Yes, as a buyer agent, this is what I suggest to all my buyers. You have to get that shot. You need to impress those sellers. Sellers on today's market have a lot of powers and they can just sit and relax and wait for the offers. Don't go for whatever the comments you hear to whoever is not actually selling or buying properties these days. As real estate agents, we have to tell you what is the best for you. If you really want the house, you have to make your best and go for it. That is right. Your competition is not the seller, not the listing price. And your competition is? Your competition are the buyers. Guys, there's one property. How many sellers? When you go to the showing, how many agents do you bump into? More than at least five people there at that showing, correct? Well, if that's the property that you want, you have to impress that seller one shot. That's all you get. One time to impress that seller. They know they're the king. So don't be surprised, buyers, if when you make an offer trying to negotiate, there is no time for negotiation. You don't even will get the response from those sellers. It's just that for, for them, it, you, you're just next. It's just a piece of paper in front of them. So make a strong offer. Bring all the papers that prove that you are pre-approved and you're a strong buyer. And let us as an agent guide you and you will get the house of your dream. Exactly. And as a buyer, you should also know two factors. Number one thing, the list price it really doesn't matter because some sellers list at a low price, some at a high price. Secondly, is how many offers they're getting and the time you're making offer. You, you make an offer on a dry season, say on a Christmas time, holiday season is different than you making an offer on the summertime when schools are off. What do you think, Sanctuary? Absolutely. Summertime, we're talking about lots of buyers with a lot of time on their hands. During the holidays, not so much. Everyone has that mindset of holidays, gift giving. But if you're shopping during that summer season, that's when you have to really bring your guns out. Make sure you have that gun with all your ammunition and you are ready to make that strong offer. Nice deposit, strong deposit. Like Sadie mentioned, you have to make sure that you have all your supporting documents for that strong offer, your DU, your pre-qualifications, proof of funds. You're ready to go. Execute and get that closing done in a matter of 30 to 45 days. So guys, let's face it. As a buyer, if you, as my colleague say just here, buying in Christmas or buying in summer, you add to that buying in the crisis of the virus that we are living in. This is right and current. We're interest rate at even under 3%. So this is even a struggle and even harder time for the sellers to go ahead and start wasting their time looking to lower offers. Just go for one time and do the right thing. Do the right offer work for the right agents. There are some other factors also. There are different negotiation power on different price range. Let's discuss that. When you're purchasing anywhere between $300,000 to $400,000, there is no room for negotiation, guys. It's not just you that's shopping. You have multitude of other buyers on the market. Let's face it, the interest rate, such as Sadie said, is below 3%. However, if you're looking to purchase, however, if you're looking to purchase 
a half a million dollar home to almost a million dollar home, there may be some wiggle room there. It's not that much competition. As a buyer, you only have one shot and it's not a good idea to try to start negotiating a, a seller's down at this moment. You have to buy for the right price and sometimes you only have one shot. So let's make it work and let's get you that house. Exactly. Thanks for watching Myth versus the Truth. Hopefully this information will help you to make the next offer. See you next week. Myth versus the truth.